Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to do some multiplication today using partial products with the box or window pane strategy. My steps I'm going to use are over here. And to start with, I need a problem that we're going to use. So let's do uh, 42 times 35. Okay, so we're going to do 42 times 35. If I look over here at my notes, the first thing I need to do is draw my box. So I'm going to choose a different color real quick, and I'm going to draw my box or my window pane. And I need to have it a 2x2 two two box because I have a 2x2 two two multiplication problem. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my problem in expanded form on my actual, on the box over here. So I look at this 4. This 4 is not really a 4. This 4 really stands for 40, and the 2 stands for 2. So I have 4 tens and 2 ones. How I'm going to write that is I'm going to, on the top of my box, I'm going to write 40, put my little plus sign, and a 2. This is the same as 42. It's 40 plus 2, 42. I'm going to write my multiplication sign right here to remind me I need to multiply. Now I'm going to come and look at my 35. On my 35, I have three tens and five ones. So in expanded form, three tens would be 30 and five ones would be five. On my box, I'm writing 30 here, a little plus sign, and five right here. So we have 35 and 42, and we're going to multiply them together. Okay, I've written my expanded form, and I have drawn my box. Now I'm going to cross multiply. And when we cross multiply, all we're doing on here is we're taking this 40, multiplying with the 30, and the answer goes here. 30 with the 2, and the answer goes here. 5 with the 40, the answer goes here. 5 with the 2, and that product goes here. So there's going to be a separate product in each one of these boxes. So we have four products, or partial products, and then we're going to put them all together. Okay, we are going to look at this. We've got 40 times 30, or 30 times 40. That's bigs, but we don't have to worry about these zeros just yet. We know that 30, or th I'm sorry, 3 times 4 is 12. But I have two zeros that I didn't take care of. It's obvious 30 times 40 is not 12, so we have to add those two zeros. So 30 times 40 is 1,200. Now I'm going to look at my next box. This is going to be 2 times 30. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, but I need 2 times 30, so I have to add a 0. So 30 times 2 is 60. Now I'm in this box right here. This box is going to be 40 times 5. 40 times 5. Okay, well... 4 times 5 is 20, so I can write 20 right here, but I need 40 times 5, so that's got to be 200. And then this last box here, this is easy, 5 times 2, a plain old 10. All right, so now I just add up everything that is in these boxes. So we're going to do that. I forgot to check off my little step that I did, my cross multiply. Now I'm going to add up the products. You can go either direction. You can add over here or you can add down on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase these because that might confuse you. I didn't need to do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add going up and down the vertical way. And when I add this, I'll use a different color for you. We'll use orange. I have 1,200 plus 200 would be 1,400. Okay, then I have 60 plus 10, that's 70. Now I just add 1,400 plus 70, and that is 1,470. That is my answer. We did it. So what 42 times 35 is 1,400. 70. That's it. Good luck.